Okay, let's practice identifying fractions of shapes. So we're going to look at shapes and find uh, fractions that match the shape. Okay, so our first question says, which figure shows halves? Okay, halves means I have two equal pieces. Okay, so looking at this first one, what do I have? Do I have two equal pieces? Yes. So we would say this one is split into halves. But look at this one. This one I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we would say that each of these represents one sixth. So which one shows halves? The circle. Next one. Which one here shows halves? Again. Okay, remember halves means two equal pieces. What fraction is this one? Each piece is one half. What about the square? This one would represent one fourths. So that doesn't work. We want the halves. Which figure shows halves here? Remember, halves, two equal pieces. It is our circle again. Each piece is one half. How about here? What shows halves in this question? We still want our halves, okay? Now looking at the first picture, what would this represent? This one would be one fourth. There's one shaded piece and there's four total pieces. But what about this side? This one is one half. Okay, this time we want fourths, okay? And this is what I like about fractions for the most part. Your key word is right in the fraction, four. So we want fourths, okay? Which picture is broken up into four equal pieces? How many pieces are here? Two. So this is one half. How many total pieces are here? Four. So each piece here is one fourth. Next one, which figure here shows fourths? Again, we're looking at fourths, four, okay? Well, I know the second one is fourths because I just had it. There's four total pieces, one is shaded in. What would this be? Okay, I have one shaded in. How many total pieces? One, two, three, four, five. Five. That's fifths. Do we want fifths or fourths? Fourths. Okay, next one. Again, we want halves. Okay, we want halves. Which one? is split into two equal pieces. It's our circle, good job. Okay, this time we want to know thirds, thirds, three, okay? So looking at our circle, how many total pieces do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is broken into sixths. How about here for the square? One, two, three. This is broken into thirds because each piece is one third. There are three equal pieces. Okay, how about this picture? Which picture here also shows thirds? Is it the circle? Or the square. It's the square. Good job. There's three equal pieces. Let's do one more. Okay, which one here shows fourths? Four. Four. So are we looking for four shaded pieces or four total pieces? We're looking for four total pieces. Okay. So on my first circle, I have one, two, three, four, five. 
So this one would be fifths. But how about on my other circle? One, two, three, four. This one would be fourths. I have four equal pieces. So that means my second circle is the fourths. Excellent job with these fractions.